As you probably know, shooting is very different in NBA 2K23. So I'm going to help you by giving you the best and fastest and easiest to time jump shots in the game. I'm also gonna give you the secret settings 2K added this year and some secret new shooting tips that the best shooters won't tell you. Now make sure to drop a like on this video for all this very useful information and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new and make sure to turn on those post notifications because we have plenty of banger videos and streams on the way. But without further ado, let's get into this video, man. Let's get it. What is good, YouTube? It's your boy, Henry, aka Double H, back at it with yet another banger. And in today's video, I got y'all with my not only my jump shot, because I'm sure you either clicked on this video to get my jump shot or your own jump shot. I'm going to be giving you guys the best jump shot for every single build, the best settings, the best badges, all that good stuff, okay? And the gameplay you're watching with my jump shot is only two shooting badges every game every clip you're seeing i only had two shooting badges and that was silver limitless well two badge points so technically one shooting badge okay and i'm going crazy with this jump shot not only is this jump shot fast this jump shot is easy to time and it is money oh my gosh i cannot believe how good this jump shot is now i didn't just get on 2k23 and just pick a jump shot and then just do good with it no i tested jump shots you know what I'm saying? I tested speeds. I tested green windows. I tested a bunch of stuff. And I found the perfect custom jump shot for me in NBA 2K23. So if you're looking for a jump shot or you're looking for my jump shot, you came to the right place. I mean, look at these clips, bro. You're going to start seeing that I'm already starting to move and go crazy and green like crazy on NBA 2K23. And this is day two, okay? And if y'all have played previous 2Ks and you've played 2K23, you know that this game is way different. Whites do not go in. So I'm sure you, you might need help with shooting this year. And today's video is going to help you because you have to green your shots for them to go in, okay? This game is a lot different. Even dribbling around and then getting open is different. Shooting with low energy is different. There's the, even even the jump shots you unlock is different. It's crazy. But look at this contested green that you're about to see in a second here. I mean, oh my gosh, was I going crazy. I mean, I'm just shooting smothers in people's faces with two shooting badges. I, I mean, technically one shooting badge and it's limitless range. Like, it's not even affecting some of these jump shots. Like, look at, I'm shooting a contested mid range. I only have like a 63 mid range at this point because my build's not even upgraded all the way. And we just going crazy. But anyways, let's get into the tips, the settings, the badges, the jump shots that you guys can test out. And make sure to comment down below a jump shot that you think is money, just in case someone wants to test it out for themselves. Okay, y'all, so let's go ahead and look at the best secret settings for shooting in NBA 2K23. Now, keep in mind, this is next gen and current gen. I, a lot of people are confused about this. They have the basically the same exact gameplay. The only difference is like events, scenery, parks, and a couple other features um, that adjust certain things. But for jump shots, it's literally going to be the same effectiveness on current gen and next gen. These jump shots work on next gen. These settings work on next gen. These tips work on next gen, and they all work on current gen as well. I'm gonna be. I play both next gen and current gen on NBA 2K23. I'm just showing all this stuff on the current gen version of the game. Now let's go ahead and start with these settings. Um, oh, we don't want to quit. That's not what we want to do. We're going to just go straight to the settings right here. And the first setting you're going to want to put on is shot feedback on all shots. There's a lot of options here. It's probably off or it's probably on user only. Put it on sh all shots. Now, what shot feedback is, is any online game, park, rec, whatever, pro-am, uh, 1v1 core, whatever you're playing, it's going to show the percent cover that shot was and whether it was green slightly late slightly early late early very early very late the timing all that good stuff on the top of your screen okay so you're obviously you want to if you shoot a very early you want to know oh i'm gonna have to time that a little later next time or if the other team greens a 20 percent contested you probably want to know that it was 20 percent contested you know what i'm saying so make sure shot feedback is on all shots so you can adjust your timing in the middle of the game now another thing you're going to want to do is go to controller settings now the first controller setting you're going to see is vibration make sure that is on now this is only effective in offline games modes now 2k used to have vibration on for online game modes as well but then zens came into the game which is basically 
these scripts that would make people be able to green every shot by just tapping a button but um yeah most likely you do not have vibration online if you do well that's a blessing anyway shot meter now a lot of you probably use the shot meter the shot meter is actually pretty decent this year um compared to the last couple years but you still get a huge green boost for having your shot meter off and this year you don't make any whites really you don't you really don't it's like one percent of the time you'll make a white okay so you have to green your shots so obviously you want a green boost so turn off your meter now i wouldn't just turn it off i would put it on free throw only that way in my career or rec or pro-am the meter pops up for free throws because i feel like it's just helpful I mean, maybe you don't want the meter on for free throws, but personally, I like it, so I put free throw only. Now, this is a brand new setting right here to NBA 2K23, and this one is very important. So I'm going to try to explain this, and hopefully you guys understand. Shot timing release time. So you guys know how usually when you time a jump shot, you release the button or the stick, whatever you shoot with. By the way, shoot with the button. Don't shoot with the stick. The button is way easier um and if you're not used to the button get used to it because it's a lot easier anyways so when you shoot in the button you're used to releasing the button as soon as your player releases the ball well this year that is not what you're going to be doing shot release timing can either be on early very early very late late and that's it so you should if you're timing your shot right when your player releases the ball that's maybe why you're missing a lot because then no situation in this entire game should you be timing your jumper when the, your player releases the ball so let's say my shot timing release time is on early that means i want to let go of the button right before he re releases it if it's on late i want to do it a little bit after he releases it very late a lot after he releases it very early a lot before he releases it okay now a lot of this is personal preference the earlier you have it the faster you shoot you're probably thinking oh maybe very early i can just tap x and it'll just be green no that's not how it works but anyways i would recommend early or late it's really personal preference i've been doing early and it's really money like it's very good now if you're a spot up build and you only shoot catch and shoots you might want to go with very early but if you're if you dribble to get open or you don't really shoot only spot up catch and shoot shots i would go with early or late personally i use early now shot meter type this is if you have a shot meter on like i said take your shot meter off and get used to it um so yeah we're not even going to talk about this setting and then pro stick and off ball offensive mode put those both the absolute and that is going to do it for the controller settings now when it comes to tips one of my one of my first tips is putting this on this thing on early like i just said so make sure your shot timing release time is on early that's the one i would recommend uh for you guys another Another tip I have for you guys is, of course, buying boosts. There's no reason you shouldn't be buying boosts. The boost section is in my health uh, this year. And yeah, you can just buy boosts right here. Make sure you're buying jump shot boosts, okay? Do not go out here in the park, in the pro am, in the 3v3, in the rec, and not have jump shot boosts, okay? You're tweaking if you do that. Now, another thing is, if you do uh, find a jump shot, you want to test jump shots, make sure you go to the my court and practice these jump shots in drills, okay? The my court is going to be right here on current gen. If you're on next gen, go to the Gator for Gatorade facility, rent out a court, court and uh, yeah, test out the jump shot get used to it obviously offline modes like my court are going to have different latency than online modes but still you want to get used to that jump shot or at least mess around with it before getting into online games with it anyways let's move into the jump shots now by the way before we go completely into the jump shots just know that i'm not just any random giving you a jump shot okay i have a very good history of having a 90 plus win percent on every single 2k having thousands of games played and look at my record to start 2k23 i haven't even lost a game I'm 38 no i've played the 1v1 court i've played twos i've played a bunch of different stuff to start off the game and i'm 38 no i have yet to lose obviously i'm gonna lose eventually but i literally have a hundred percent win percentage okay now you're definitely not gonna want to just buy a jump shot and just put it on you're gonna want to make a custom jump shot now how you do that is you're gonna want to go to your my player go to animation find animations on next gen 2 it's somewhere in the menus and you're gonna want to go to your gameplay animations now you're gonna want to click on jump shots um you're gonna want to hover over jump shot right here and at the bottom you're gonna see jump shot creator you're gonna want to click that uh which is x on xbox and you want to go to the jump shot creator now as soon as we go in here before we even look at jump shots and talk about the best jump shots for certain builds jump shots have stats now as you can see there's different stats there's release height there's release speed 
immunity and there's timing impact now rele release height means is obviously how high you release the ball at. are you releasing it lower to the ground or higher above your head this also has to do with how high you jump on your jump shot as well now release speed is obviously how fast is your jump shot how fast are you getting this jump shot off before the defender can get a better contest a timing impact is basically are you timing your jump shot correctly and if you are timing it correctly is it going to reward you for that or is it going to take a little more skill to time the shot now another thing you're going to want to know when it comes to creating your custom jump shot is the most important thing is your base of your jump shot so the jump shots a lot of jump shots and uh, that i'm going to be giving you in today's video for your build or for my build is going to be based off the base the releases don't really affect um how good or bad your shot is going to be in game they might affect some of these stats right here which you can change around but for the most part releases is going to help you have a better idea of the visual cue of when to release the button when looking at your player and timing your shot if that makes any sense now we're going to go ahead and list off the best base jump shots for guards iso builds lockdowns poppers spot ups literally any shooting build in the game now obviously but depending on your build depending on how tall are you your stats and all that you might not unlock some of these bases and that's why i'm going to list a lot of bases that are good for multiple different builds now unfortunately for me the first base i don't unlock but the best base for smaller guards is cole anthony that is one of the fastest jump shots in the game one of the most successful jump shots in that game and definitely one of the easiest to time jump shots in the game so cole anthony base for smaller guards now the rest of these bases are really just going to be for any build that can shoot so we're going to start with base base kuzma base kuzma might be the best base in the game i'm not gonna lie this base is very good for spots especially it's the base i use on my jump shot and i'm going to show you guys my jump shot later in this video but yeah i mo i but yeah, I know it might sound like a troll, but Kyle Kuzma is very good. I mean, look at release speeds like a C plus right here. You go to Kyle Kuzma. Oh my God, immediately to an A. You know what I'm saying? Kyle Kuzma is a very fast jump shot. Easy to time jump shot. Very good base to use. Another good base is Jalen Brown. I know a lot of poppers that have had a, a lot of success with shooting to start the game have been using Jalen Brown. It's a money jump shot, okay? It might not be the fastest base, but it is a very effective um a jump shot as you can see it's timing impact is very very good so it's very easy the green window is very high on jalen brown trust me i know players that usually suck at 2k and they're out here greening with jalen brown on as their base another good base is lebron james this one's a weird one i never really expected to be talking about base lebron james in any jump shot video on my channel this is one of those bases that's like good all around it's not really crazy good at anything but it's good all around if you're a center i would try to test out lebron james if you can shoot the ball it's actually pretty nice another good base is lamello ball i know a lot of sharpshooters um and, and stretch bigs that have been using lamello ball to start nba 2k23 it's a very fast jump shot it has a high arc jump shot he jumps high on the jump shot as well very good base right here too now another good base that i do not unlock unfortunately is kobe bryant kobe bryant is a very easy to time at base and the last base that i'm going to talk about is stephen curry which is another base i do not unlock stephen curry base has just always been a good base easy to time base and very effective i know you're wondering okay what do i do with these bases now that i have these bases like what about the releases now for the releases there's going i'm going to put up on the screen a bunch of releases that are usually good uh for timing cue and just easier to time and makes it easier for you to know when to time your shot uh because that's basically the most part when it comes to releases now you might not unlock all the releases but good releases to have could be like rudy gay dante exum kobe bryant stephen curry larry bird just to name a few off the top of my head now personally i always go with upper release one and upper release two as jump shots that i usually use in previous 2ks so for example last year i had base 25 and then upper release one i had rudy gay upper release two i had dante exum and i would also swap between exum and kobe bryant at release two so this year for my jump shot i'm using base kyle kuzma because in my opinion that is the best base in the game release one rudy gay because i always use that and i'm used to timing that and release two kobe bryant because it's another easy to time uh release and i have used it in past two k's now look at the stats on this one i don't really care about release height too much 
because I'm already 6'6". Release speed is an A+. I mean, that is ridiculous. We are getting that shot off immediately. No defend. The defender is going to have to already be in front of me for him to get a contest. And then immunity is an A minus. That is crazy. It's hard to get a high immunity. And timing impact is a C minus. Now, why I like this jump shot is because I personally, I'm good at the game. Okay. I know how to time a shot. I'm very good at timing a shot and I'm used to timing very low three pointers. If you know me, if you watched me in the past, you know, I'm used to timing like 60 three pointers. I have an 85 three pointer, so I don't even need timing impact. As long as I have release speed, I'm good to go. So yeah, this is the jump shot I'm using in NBA 2K23 on all of my builds. So if you came here for my jump shot, this is it. And make sure to drop a like if you enjoy it. Now, if I were you, I would test out the bases I gave you, test out some of those releases, create a custom jump shot, look at the stats for it, and try to find something for yourself. Because that's what 2K23 is about with when it because the jump shot and shooting and jump shot creator has changed so much that it's really about finding the jump shot for you. And if you find a money jump shot, comment it down below. And maybe if you don't like any of the bases releases I found and showed you in this video, you can go in the comments and find one there. Now, if this video helped you out at all, make sure to drop a like on this video. It's literally just a click of a button and it helps me out a lot. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already 1 million subscribers on the way and make sure to turn on post notifications so you can see every time I go live and every time I post another banger video. We got a lot more NBA 2K23 videos on the way, but yeah, man, we better go crazy this year. It's been your boy Henry, AKA Double H. And I'm out of here, man. Peace.